The Being Human Festival provides us with a magnificent opportunity to consider and reflect on what it means to be human. As a WIAPA work practitioner and regenerative system resetter, I understand that connection to country is something that really defines, inspires, motivates and informs who I am as a human. So I'm going to invite you to join me in sending a vibration of collective love and gratitude to our Mother Earth uh, for all that she enables. And I would invite you to think of a place somewhere in nature, maybe by the beach, in a desert, in a rainforest, where you feel totally at peace, where you feel that love, where you feel connected, and I want you to just open up all of your senses to what you feel in this place. What do you see? What do you hear? What can you touch? What do you smell? Where are you located in this place? So that sense of, sense of space, that spatial orientation, the temperature of the air on your skin. Just opening up that heart space to this place that you hold near and dear in nature. I'm also going to invite you to think of the many traditional custodial groups across our continent that lived in harmony and reciprocity and continue to do so today and will do so into the future with that collective mother. And it's because of their amazing stewardship that we inherit this amazing potential as contemporary custodians of the earth. So I'm inviting you to lean more into your relationship with those groups, those language groups across our continent, leaning more into your relationship with the collective mother, with mother earth. and to understand what your unique contribution may be, why you're a human, why you're in that being state, connecting into that awe and wonder that you feel for that place that you love, the complexity, the messiness, the beauty of the earth. As we navigate being an intentional link in the chain of humanity. Being human, not being perfect, but being human. What does that mean for you? I feel that's the opportunity that we have with this festival, the opportunity that we have going forward. And I hope that you experience more prompts to lean in with that boldness, that vulnerability, that imperfection, that beauty of who you are.